these are the golf clubs most golfers should be playing. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have in my hand the newest set of golf clubs from PXG. Panda Extreme Golf. Or is it Parsons Extreme Golf? I can never remember. But this is their o 211 z I've just been watching so many British YouTubers lately that I like saying Zed. Zed's dead. Zed's dead. Hey, this is the O211Z. It's their latest line of golf clubs, and it's a really interesting line of golf clubs. And I love them because they are actually really thinking about the player, and these clubs are really, really interesting. So I want to show them to you before we try them out. The O211Z is a set of golf clubs from woods to fairway woods to hybrids to irons that are designed for the beginner golfer. Now, this is a big, wide swath of players, and I think a lot of people people think that they're better than they are. A lot of people overestimate their golfing ability. A lot of people underestimate how many strokes they are playing. They kind of use a foot wedge every now and then and still come away and say, hey, I shot 90. I think most golfers out there are trying to break 100, you know, shooting somewhere between 90 and 100, 10 to 20 handicap. They are driving 220, 230 yards. A lot of players that are coming into the game right now are beginners and have no idea how far they should be hitting. A lot of players have been playing for a long time and our senior players and are trying to get height, altitude, speed, and distance again. And these clubs are meant for basically everyone. They are not built for professionals and then sold to us amateurs. These are probably the first set of clubs that a professional should never play, but most amateurs should. It's kind of a little bit like coefficient of restitution for me. When you see a pro hitting big drives with a particular driver, I can just tell you now that's not probably going to be a very good driver for most of us. We want more springiness, not less springiness. Anyway, these clubs are really interesting. I ordered the wood set. You actually cannot order these individually. When you order them, you will get a driver. You will actually get a four wood, a fairway wood here, and you will also get a five hybrid. Now, I will actually tell you to not really care about the numbers. What I've noticed here is that they don't put the degrees on here, and I think that is purposeful because a lot of us get confused on stuff. You might see 21 degrees when your buddy's playing 18 degrees, and you're like, oh my gosh, am I weaker? Am I less of a man? Well, you're not, at least not to me. And so I like the fact that they don't have those specs on here. Now, the specs are really interesting, and I'm going to actually tell you what I think about these clubs. First of all, I love PXG because I think they are thinking about golf from the inside out and thinking about the current golfer and looking at the technology and building maybe the best golf clubs for these people. This is actually a really beautiful club. It's got the big PXG. This is actually a little bit of a departure from the recent designs. This is actually more like the original PXGs that had the big branding, brash branding. In fact, I have my prototype driver here and the PXG is quite a bit smaller. So if you want people to know you're playing PXG, the O211Zs are the ones you want to get. Now this prototype driver is a great driver. I really have loved it. It's the O811X plus carbon fiber top, but this is probably where it is most interesting. This is probably what most people will notice. You can see here that we have this kind of center ridge line, and even the ridge line is a little bit lower than the top of the crown right here. So it kind of slants back, but it looks a little fuller, but they have these recessed cutouts here. So what it does is it looks very flat, like the club is pushed down. Down. And actually, my eye loves it. This almost feels like it's a blade pushed away from you. It almost looks like it is hugging the ground when it is sitting at a dress. And I love that because it's very confidence inspiring. It makes it feel like the club is going to scoop underneath the ball. And for me, one of the things that I like about my wedges is that I feel like I'm scooping under them as opposed to hitting them with the longer irons. And this takes one of the hardest clubs to hit and makes it feel like you're scooping under the club. And I think that's going to be a really good psychological benefit benefit for a lot of people. It's a really good look. And and the mechanical advantage of this is that it's pushing all that weight lower. So with that weight lower, we're going to get higher ball launches. It's going to be very forgiving. My understanding is that this is the most forgiving driver that PXG makes. And that makes a lot of sense. Although it looks similar to every other driver, it has a weight in the back here. This is adjustable. You can remove this, put in different weights. It comes with a 10 gram weight standard. I pulled out all the weights. That's the one that came in mind. So I think if you wanted a little more weight on the back, a little more forgiveness, a little higher launch, you could put in a 15 gram, a 20 gram weight, those types of things. But if you like a little lighter swing weight, you could take that out. In fact, the head mass here is actually a little heavier than most of the drivers, 209 grams versus a more typical 200 grams. So you're saying nine extra grams. Well, Pete, you said beginning golfers, maybe those without a lot of strength, maybe senior golfers, maybe most amateur golfers. 
golfers, we like a little bit lighter feeling club. Well, that's interesting because this club, even with this shaft in here, it comes with this cipher shaft and they all come with the PXG standard grip. This club here, while you might not be able to tell, is actually shorter than most golf clubs. And that's another thing that I love about PXG they're thinking about. This is a 44 inch driver. Remember, most drivers come 45 and a half inches, and I think that is way too long for the average golfer, even the experienced golfer. And so they've trimmed off some length down here, and just FYI, most pros trim their drivers too. So what you're gonna get here is a little bit more controllable driver, a little shorter for most people, and that means the swing weight here is only a C8, and so that's actually lighter than most other drivers at a D0, D1, right? So even though you have more weight down here, so you should have a decent moment of inertia, maybe better than the standard drivers, maybe get closer to that 1.5 smash factor while you're doing it with a lighter swing weight in general. So that's pretty nice. Now you might be saying, well, Pete, a shorter shaft here, what about the lie angle on this bad boy? And that's actually interesting too, because they've thought about that. This is a 61.5 degree lie angle. I think most drivers are a 59 degree lie angle. And so this is already two and a half degrees more vertical than most drivers. So they've shortened up the shaft, but they've also made that adjustment so that it's going to sit right. In fact, it sits very flat, very square, which I really, really love. So shorter shaft, lighter swing weight, heavier head, more vertical lie angle. All of these things will translate into a better experience for most average golfers. Now let's talk about that loft, which I said is not printed on here. This is what might be crazy is a 16 degree lofted driver. And I actually think that's brilliant too. And one of the reasons here is that my father never played very often because he wasn't particularly good. And over the last couple of years, I have made him custom drivers that have been noticeably shorter and lighter than standard drivers. And that's gotten him into the game. The one big problem I've always had is that I haven't had enough loft on this. He launches it at about 11 or 12 degrees even when I crank up the loft on most drivers and that's just because the swing speed isn't there the club head speed isn't there to launch that ball up so between using higher spin golf balls to try to get that height up putting more weight on the clubs low and back to help try to launch those balls higher one of the things I have really wanted is a higher lofted club in fact the club I'm having him use right now is a tailor-made sim 2 at 12 degrees and I've got it cranked up another degree and a half so it's really 13 and a half degree club and that's getting him closer but I would love to have a 14 or 15 degree driver and so when I saw that this was a 16 degree driver I said hallelujah someone is thinking about the average golfer because this is beautiful 16 degrees with the adjustable houseable I can go up another degree and a half to 17 and a half degrees or I can come down to 14 and a half degrees. So I think that's going to cover a lot of the launch angles that a lot of amateur golfers are looking for. In fact, I think a lot of the average golfers I've seen are launching it way too low. So I love the idea that for people looking for loft on their driver, they can get it in a driver, in a 460 cc head just like this. I know a lot of people who've gone to strong three woods because they can get a 13, 14 degree loft on those, but they're not getting the head size they want. So thank you PXG for doing that. I think that this is really, really awesome so everything about this club i love this is maybe too much law for me but i'd be interested to see what i'm actually going to get out of this but we will find out and then lastly i want to say that at address this actually looks a little bit bigger than my proto head but I wonder if it's because the 460 cc's is a volume measurement for driver and because they have basically lowered this head and now have some more concave parts here that the driver head can actually be larger with the back end further back because we've lost all this volume up here and now we can put it in other places. So again, it's kind of a brilliant way to stay within the rules and yet, to get you the power, the MOI, the forgiveness, the height that you want in a driver head. So if proactively cutting out this space, pushing that weight low to make it more forgiving has allowed them to change the dimensions here to make it even more forgiving, kudos to PXG. Brilliant, brilliant. Now let's get to the next piece. This is the fairway wood that comes in the set. And as you can see, it's a four, which is kind of interesting because it's actually more of a five wood loft in most cases, but I think it's a little bit of a psychological thing to say like people want to hit a three, they don't want to hit a five. So let's split the difference and call it a four. And so it says four right here, but this has 18 degrees of loft, which is actually the same as my five wood proto here. Now, one of the things that I want to say about this is that it has a very similar design, right? The lowered head, kind of a flattened head here, that crown is kind of pressed in but it's three-dimensional. We've got kind of that speed hump right there. Matte finish on the top, which I really absolutely love. 
down on the bottom it looks very similar we have that 10 gram weight down here but one of the things that i have noticed about this fairway wood is that one it's also a little bit shorter 42 inches in length c8 swing weight 220 gram head on the top here so you actually have a lot of weight here and when i was looking at it at a dress i really love the look but the thing that i noticed about this is how big this is again this might be the way that they are just manipulating the volume measurements here i don't know that there's any limit on fairway woods but i will tell you the footprint on this is quite a bit bigger than my other proto fairway wood and i love it because it's a really shallow face i kind of feel like i can't scald it thin it fat it any of those i feel like i'm gonna make really good contact but i really do love the big footprint here it makes it look very forgiving like i'm not gonna miss that ball so i really love it it actually kind of reminds me of the cobra big tour fairway wood and i think it actually might be bigger than that or the callaway strong three wood so three woods that are bigger in fact i kind of wonder if this is maybe a little more closer to the tailor-made original one so this might actually be bigger than most three woods out there and so it's a very forgiving looking club very inviting oh come play me come hit me so hard so i really love that in fact i can't wait to hit this now again you can change the loft here and the other thing i want to mention here is the lie angle so this is a 60 degree lie angle on most three to five woods this is a 59 59 and a half maybe so this is slightly more vertical which allows you to have a shorter shaft a little more vertical lie angle on it and i think that's going to help a lot of people it's going to make it feel closer to you it's going to be a little more comfortable to hit so i really love that too so if you're looking for a fairway wood with a little steeper lie angle maybe you're even a tall player this might be a great club for you we're gonna see how i hit this versus my proto five wood all right last but not least is the five here which is actually a hybrid now this is a 25 degree loft which makes it like a seven wood or a five iron i think and for people that might struggle with longer irons and i know a five iron isn't necessarily a long iron but it can be pretty long it can be hard to hit for a lot of beginners something like this this might have the same loft and be a lot easier to hit in fact that's why we call them rescues because sometimes they rescue us so instead of having a five iron in the bag you get this and actually if you order the irons they start at a six iron so i think this is meant to replace that five iron four iron right and it's got a lot of nice weight here again a 10 gram weight on the back that is adjustable i also love that it has the adjustable loft sleeve on this a lot of hybrids don't including one of my old favorites the cobra speed zone hybrid doesn't have an adjustable sleeve so you can absolutely crank this up or down if you want it to play a little more like a four iron again kind of this recessed crown piece here i think it looks fantastic and again it makes it look like the club is pressed to the ground i actually love this like kick out toe here i love these it kind of makes it look like a hammer or mallet and for me it's a very appealing look i know some people like it when it's bold a little bit like that it kind of has a more traditional golf club look but i love when that toe is kicked out it just makes me feel like it's more forgiving like there's more surface area down here even though it's just an optical illusion again same shaft and grip here 38 and a half inches long and the line angle on this is 59 and a half degrees so it's actually a little bit more flat than the four wood which is a little interesting but it's very very close the length on this is 38 and three quarters inches with the same shaft and grip on it and with 245 grams down here it should cut through that rough and be very forgiving so in fact if i really like this i might just drop my five iron out of my bag and replace it with this little bad boy so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to transplant the shafts out of the pxgs that i do play into these 0211 zeds and go to the simulator and start hitting them and get some data and see how they play two weeks later all right, I am back from playing these 0211 Zeds. I'm just gonna keep saying Zed until I become an unofficial European, and I really love them. Now, I have found some specific things that I want to make sure that I note here. So, I was hitting a lot of these. I actually spent an hour in the simulator playing around with the driver, the hybrid, the fairway wood, just kind of going back and forth, trying some different things. I I did put in my own shafts here, so different shafts for different clubs here, the hazard of smoke here and the driver. And one of the things that I wanted to say here is that I kept getting bothered. Was this driver head bigger than my proto right here? Or is it just an optical illusion the way they have kind of pushed that head down? So I got out the digital calipers and yes, this head is actually bigger. So it's actually quite a bit bigger. It's actually seven millimeters deeper from front to back and two millimeters longer from toe to heel here. 
And that actually makes a little sense to me because you are getting rid of volume here and then you can blow the head out a little bit. So one of the things that I just noticed here is that when this is down at a dress, it just looks so big, it looks so forgiving. If you're one of those people that's like, oh my gosh, 460cc heads are so big these days, well, you are going to kind of be blown away by how big this head is. And for beginner golfers, mature golfers, golfers that just want more mental comfort when they're about to hit the ball, like this guy, the bigger looking head, it's not bigger, but the bigger footprint here is very comforting. So I really, really love that. It's actually a brilliant way to make it look more forgiving. I will also say that I have cranked this down. So I didn't even bother trying to hit it at the 16 degrees. It's lower here, one and a half degrees, which is the maximum I can do on the PXG. So instead of 16 degrees, it is 14 and a half degrees theoretically. And I was hitting it. And my problem here is that it's just too much law for me. So I was getting anywhere from 23 to 24 degrees of launch angle, which is just just much too high for me and actually what I did was I put the ball back in my stand and I was kind of dragging the head a little bit to kind of keep that loft a little lower and I was able to kind of get it in 18 19 20 degree launch angles which is still too high for me usually I'm looking for 14 to 15 to 16 degrees and so no matter what I did I just couldn't get it down to where I needed it to be after playing around with my technique on this I was able to get it out to about 208 209 yards so not as far as I can with my regular driver so I'm giving up distance there but one of the things that I noticed is that it was very forgiving the off-center hits here the bad hits the miss hits were still going much straighter and what dawned on me is that when you add loft you add forgiveness that's why it's actually easier for a lot of people to hit a wedge instead of a three iron because you're adding that loft that loft is a way to add forgiveness not just playing around with the weights and so when you add loft to a driver it actually becomes more forgiving so for people that are looking for more height as well as more forgiveness you're kind of getting that as a byproduct of the extra loft here it looks huge that loft gives you more height and more forgiveness this club is amazing and i tell you what if they made this in a 12 degree where i could loft it down a little bit i would probably play it because i just love the look of it now because of all those things that i said i just can't get this dialed into where it's going to optimize my shots for me so obviously i'm not going to play it but i will tell you that it's pretty much just the loft that's an issue for me and for a lot of people i think this is the perfect club for them so awesome awesome driver now let's skip to the hybrid here this hybrid is actually great it's marked as a five i would say that this is probably a perfect replacement for a five iron i know a lot of sets of clubs are dropping five iron so you buy them from six to pitching wedge and i think this makes a lot of sense for getting rid of the longer iron in your bag i was able to hit this reliably it just looks great again it's very forgiving it looks like it's kind of pressed to the ground this whole design here kind of reminds me of that moon wood it kind of had this cut in design on the head here so i actually thought that that looked very smart and this design across the 0211 zeds looks a lot like that so i was able to hit this very well to me though this probably overlaps too much of what I already have in my bag so despite the fact that this is really good and if I were playing a hybrid right now I would probably replace it with this because it's the best one I've ever hit I would just say that over my six iron it's just not playing any better and so it's not something that I would use but I tell you what, if you're someone who's on the fence about going to the full kind of hybrid iron set because you still strike your 7, 8, 9 iron really well and it's just the 3, 4, 5, or 6 irons that are giving you problems, I would definitely check this out. I think this is a really smart move for them to include this hybrid in the set and drop out the 5 iron. And spoiler alert, I have pulled the 5 iron out of my bag too. All right, that only leaves one club left, and this is the four wood out of this set, and I was hitting this, and this is the one I kept coming back to. I would hit it, put it down, come back and hit it again, and the thing I am just so intrigued about here is, again, the bigger head. It is so much bigger than any three wood I have played. In fact, it reminds me a lot of the 300 mini TaylorMade. Maybe not quite as big as that, but it just has a really large, inviting footprint here. The face is nice and small, which I actually like so that you don't feel like you are hitting a driver off the deck. And I was really striking this quite well. In fact, I don't play a three wood because it doesn't have enough loft, but this actually has the loft that my five wood currently has. And so I was hitting this as good as my five wood, but my five wood is a much smaller head. And so having this larger head to me is so much more inviting. And I was getting the same distance with it so i'm going to tell you here that this four wood is going in my bag and it's replacing my five wood i just love the bigger head here it is just a really unique club here and if you love fairway woods i think you're gonna love this especially if you are someone like me that wouldn't mind the fairway woods getting a little bigger but keeping that face really really small it's actually a shame that they don't sell this fairway wood or maybe a six or seven wood version with it separately because this thing is great so this one i am gonna game this year and i'm really excited about it 
All right, so what do I think on the whole of the O211Zs? I think it's no surprise that I am really impressed with this. I am actually loving the fact that PXG is kind of rethinking the golf game for most golfers. They're not just forcing them in to off the rack, out of the box sets here, because a lot of golfers will benefit from shorter shafts across the board. When you do that, you probably need more upright line goals. You need more loft. A lot of people, they have just been left out in the cold, especially for people like my father, who I've struggled to put together sets of golf clubs for. I've had to buy off-brand heads that will go up to 14, 15, 16 degrees sometimes. So it's really awesome to have a driver here, and this one is in this 14 and a half degree setting, but think about going up to 17 and a half degrees to get you that launch angle that you need, get you some of that distance back. I think a lot of people will love these. So I think most golfers should probably be playing the O2 11 Z's here. Now, one of the problems here is the expense of these golf clubs. PXG has really brought down the price on most of their golf clubs to be affordable in some cases, but the O211Zs here are very expensive. I'm not sure if they will come down in price as they sell more and more of these, but because of how unique these clubs are, my guess is that they have a lot of fixed costs that they have to recover on these. So I think most amateur golfers should probably be in these clubs. I'm really excited about them and what they're going to do for a lot of golfers. I enjoyed hitting them. I tell you what, in a few years, these might actually be the perfect set for me. But if you want to pick up a set of O211Zs or Zeds, I'll put a link to them in the description below because playing your best golf just might make your life a little bit better. Peter Von Panda, out. We can so much deeper We can live better than Ever thanks to Peter Peter Von Panda These are the golf club oh. Such a bad start